dear Penelope, I hope this letter finds you well. It brings me great joy to write to you, as I am deeply in love. I cherish every moment we spend together, and my heart leaps like that of a graceful... Doe? No. Fawn? No. Gazelle? No! No, I must be original! Like that of a graceful kangaroo bouncing through the grassy plains of Madagascar on a warm summer sea as the sun sets in the west upon a red sky when I receive your letter. Surely there is none like you in all the... Land? No. Feel? No. Earth? No. No, it's cliché. In all the prairie. But I must be real with you. For I feel to lie, or deceive, or heaven forbid, hold back the truth, would be a sin. Penelope, my sweet rutabaga, please hear my words, for they come from deep within my bowels. The love I once had for you has grown dim. The light in my lighthouse has gone out, and I fear you have been left alone in the waging sea. And oh, the pain of these words on my lips, the pain which can only be compared to that of the birth pains of a woman. But a woman I am not. Therefore I feel nothing. I have grown hard and callous to your love, to the feeling of warm sunshine on my handsome face. But that is for one side of the coin, for I am also being torn to shreds. It is as if someone has stuck their hand down my throat and is squeezing the life from my heart. I am angry. I am furious. Everything I see is a reminder of your soft touch, and your words as smooth as molasses. Oh, my sweet radish, my words could forever flow, but I must stop this torment. It has been a lovely ride, my sweet prune, but I believe it has come to an end. I love you dearly, and I am yours forever, but not anymore. Yours truly, Bob. Bummer. <sighs> my dear Penelope, you are like nails to my chalkboard. I hate you. Goodbye.